Okay, so this video is going to be talking about concentration. Okay, now you've probably heard the term concentration or something is concentrated before. Okay, but in chemistry, we actually can put a numerical value to how concentrated something is or not. Okay, so concentration of solutions is going to is just going to be how much of a solute do we have in a given solvent. Okay. So if something is diluted, that means you have a really small amount of solute in your solvent, where if something is concentrated, we can have a relatively large amount of solute in solution, okay? And we're actually going to put numerical values to these um, diluted versus concentrated, okay? And the different units that you can come across are PPM, which is parts per million. We won't actually use that in this course. Um, molality, and we'll visit that sometime in a little bit, and then molarity. So this is going to be the bread and butter for concentration, okay? And you'll notice that it has the mole in it. So molarity deals with how many moles of my solute do I have within my solution, okay? So what is molarity? Molarity is going to be moles divided by liters, which is going to be our volume. So our units for molarity is going to be moles per liter, okay? And you actually see this little triangle. Since I have three things, I can make my triangle to figure out if I'm solving for one, what is it going to look like? So for example, molarity is going to be moles divided by liters. Liters is going to be moles divided by molarity. And moles will be equal to molarity times liters. And notice that our volume is in liters. This is crucial, okay? Because a lot of times our molarity will be, or our volume will be in milliliters. So we need to make sure that we can convert, okay? So let's look at some examples. What's one way that I could get a one molar solution? Well, I could do one mole divided by one liter. That gives me one molar. What if I do 0 0.5 moles? divided by 0 0.5 liters. That will also give me a one molar solution. You'll notice any time to have a one molar solution, you need to have the same number on top as you do on the bottom, okay? What about a two molar solution? Since I'm dealing with a fraction, to get my number to be bigger than one, I need to increase my numerator, okay? So to get a two molar solution, I can do two moles, divided by one liter. I could also do four moles divided by two liters. And you'll notice that my numerator is increasing, which is it's, it's bigger than my denominator, and that's order to get a number greater than one, okay? What if I have a number that's less than one? Okay, this is not gonna be as concentrated as my two molar solution because I need my denominator to be greater than my numerator in order to get a 0.5 molar solution. And it'll look something like this. One mole over two liters gives me a 0.5 molar solution. So I have less amount of substance within the volume, okay? I could also do two moles divided by four liters, okay? Which will give me a 0.5 molar solution as well. Okay, so let's look at some examples here on how we do these calculations. And they're really simple, okay? Um, so, for example, it says, what is the molarity when 0.5 moles are dissolved in 2 liters of solution? Okay, so I always write molarity is equal to moles divided by liters, which is going to be equal to 0 0.5 moles divided by 2 liters. Okay, now since my denominator is bigger than my numerator, I would expect this value to be to be less than um, one. And it does turn out to be that way because 0.5 will go into two four times. So this answer is going to be 0 0.25, but with significant figures, it'll give us a 0 0.3, sorry, I'm running out of room, molar solution. And we can just put an M for molarity, okay? What is the molarity when one mole of solute is dissolved in 0.5 liters, okay? So molarity is equal to moles divided by liters, which is equal to, for every one mole, it'll be divided by 0 0.5 liters, okay? So now this is gonna be opposite, so this is bigger than this. So 0.5 goes into one twice, so this would be a two molar solution. Okay, I'm gonna do one more example, and then um, we'll do more of these in class, okay? Number three says, how many moles of HCl are in 300 milliliters of a 12 molar solution, okay? 
So here, what it's telling me is that I'm looking for moles. And if I go back up to my triangle, moles is going to be molarity times liters. So moles is equal to molarity times liters, okay? So my molarity is 12.0 molar. And my volume, it's in milliliters, so I need to move the decimal over three times. So I'm going one, two, three. So it's 0 .3000 liters, okay? So I'm doing 12 times 0.3, and that's going to tell me, and it's going to be 3.6, and I need one more significant figure. So it would be 3.60 moles of HCl are inside of that solution. And luckily for you, you know how to convert to grams. So you can ultimately convert this to grams to figure out how many grams are inside of that solution. Okay, we'll look at more examples, but this is kind of just an intro. I hope you guys got it. Thank you.